Hey guys, what's going on? Today I got another awesome video for you and today we're going to uh, add a product to Shopify store. One of the stores that I created yesterday, I'm going to make this into a coffee shop and uh, I'm going to take you along the ride with, uh, with me. So today let's just start by, I'm going to go to the computer now, um, let's start by adding a product. So we're going to log into our dashboard and our Shopify store and on the left hand side here let's go ahead and go down to the product section. And then from here, it's at the very top, we want to add a product. All right, so this is actually our first product, so it's super exciting. So we're going to add product. Let this load up for a second. And uh, we're met here with the um, add product screen. So now we want to title this um, the product, and this is what the customer is going to see. So let's go ahead and put, um, let's say, like 8-ounce coffee bag. All right, from here, we'd write out a detailed description. Um, we'll say strong, whatever. You can go whatever you want here. And caffeine. Uh, let's see, caffeine. You can spell it right. Ah, caffeine. If you're wondering what this tool is, this is Grammarly, and it's not working right. I have too much stuff open. Okay, bam, there we go. It's a great tool. It helps me. I can't spell for for anything, so it helps me out. Okay, here we go. So let's add the images to this. Images to your store. Hit upload image. Pretty straightforward, but we're going to walk you along so you can see how easy it is to add products on Shopify. So in this series, um, I'm going to do a series of videos. And I'm going to kind of break them down into bite-sized pieces uh, for adding um, products. Um, eventually, we'll graduate into marketing your store. So I want you guys to follow along if you are interested in starting a store or you, um, you have a product line that you already sell and you want to start selling it online. So that's a good way because you already have a following you already have customers, and now you can just migrate them over to your online shop. It's, it's, uh, that's the best way to do it. So let's go ahead and get some images real quick. Let's go to the. I grabbed some from the internet, but they don't take. Oh, that one's there. Okay, cool. Get that one done. Yeah. All right. Put a price on this. Let's call it $9.99. Charge tax. Set up a SKU. 21, 454, whatever your inventory uh, management uh, is. Put it in there. Track it. Yeah. Let's let Shopify track it. Let's say we ordered 50 of these from the supplier. This way it'll go out of stock. Or you want it to go out of stock and people can't buy it. They don't back order anything. Set the weight for shipping, let's say it's a pound. Yes, it requires shipping. And this is cool because it gives you the SEO, the search engine listing uh, preview down at the bottom there. I don't know why I'm pointing, you can't see me point, but it's eight ounce coffee bag, crisp, clear. And then over here to the right side, I do this part next. It's visible online, the visibility on your online store is visible. The point itself, so if you have a boutique shop, you can actually uh, sync these together to your inventory. So if somebody walks into your store and buys from you, then you uh, it takes it from your online store too. So you don't oversell product type. So let's say it's a coffee. Now this is just how you organize the store. So you can organize it however you want. The vendor, whatever the the vendor is, I'm not going to make a let's just put this through house. All right, and the collection we'll put it into bag. We don't have that. We don't have that collection set up, but you can set up different collections. I'll do a video on how to set up collections uh, in the next video. All right, so I think we're good. So we'll save the product. Hopefully everything goes well. Let's see here. So it should be product was successfully created. So you can see here, there's our products. Let's view it in the store up here.
Boom, right there. We have two images. Now they, your customers can add them to the cart, share it on their Facebook page. So that's how simple it is to add a product to Shopify. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm Garrett Smith, and I'll see you in the next video.